Hello everyone! Today I'm gonna talk about uh, symptoms that I was having between 5 DPO and 10 DPO. Today I'm currently 10 days past evolution and I'm gonna talk with you guys about all of my symptoms that I was experiencing between 5 DPO and 10 DPO. I believe in the last video you can check it right here. I did talk about my symptoms from 1 DPO till 5 DPO. Today I'm gonna start from 6 DPO. This is the list that I'm having right, right here and it's gonna help me to remember everything and anything. So let's get it started. Before we get started, um, I want to ask you guys, if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and write a comment down below. I will highly appreciate it. Thank you guys. Let's continue. So at 60 PO, I woke up and I had a pulling sensation in my right ovary and I had the same kind of pulling sensation in my uterus and in the afternoon when I had lunch uh, I started feeling uh, like nauseous a little bit like I want to throw up but actually I didn't do that it was just a feeling during eating and after that I want to throw up but I didn't it was kind of strange because for six days past ovulation it's too early but honestly guys it is quite normal to me to have um, nauseous to be nauseous and having uh, symptoms like you want to throw up uh, before my period it is totally normal to me and it wasn't something like wow it's a signal no it was just feeling nauseous that's it and i was super bloated in the evening and one more thing who oh, it's dmi if you didn't like it please just scroll up so i started feeling wet literally wet kind of a lot of mucus down there when I went to the bathroom and I wiped uh, I saw a lot of mucus like kind of yellowish mucus which was kind of mm, what could it be but at the same time guys it's not something abnormal to me I do have a lot of yellowish mucus especially before periods so it was kind of okay like it's okay like nothing significantly abnormal like let's move on 7 DPO still the same I woke up with a pulling sensation in my right ovary like a pulling sensation it wasn't um, painful it was kind of um, discomfort something it was uh, okay, but at the same time, it was kind of mm, what that what's going on down there because it was bothering me a bit, and again I felt wet down there, and I was wet, and I was bloated, and I did feel my right ovary on and off throughout the day. And it's, oh yeah, I had a moment when I was playing with the kids at the backyard and I started feeling like with each, every step, I was feeling my right ovary. Like I literally felt it with every single step that I made. I felt like, like a vibration or something down there. I'm like, okay, okay, what could it be? What could it be? We're gonna see later. Okay, okay. And I did have this feeling for about five, seven minutes. Again, nothing abnormal, but at the same time, I have never had anything like that um, before. 
It was something new. Okay. Okay, I was hungry. I was hungry and in the evening I was very hungry. I wanted to eat. I was starving. But um, it's not... Uh, it's not really normal to me. I mean, I do feel hungry a bit before my period, but this hunger was something different. I was starving. I was literally like, I'm gonna eat something big, huge. Okay, and especially sweets. I wrote down here that especially sweets, which is, I'm not a sweet tooth. I'm kind of, I'm okay, like, whether or not I have some candies, I'm like, okay, if I don't have anything, I'm still okay. But at 70 pure, I started having like sweet cravings. Like I wanted something sweet right now. I wanted something sweet and it was kind of okay. Like at the same time, it was not okay and okay because before your period, you never know what's gonna be. Okay, let's move on. Eight days past ovulation, which is eight DPO. I felt nauseous. In the morning, I woke up and it was like a wave when you felt nauseous for a bit, for 30 seconds, and it went away. And I'm like, mm, what could it be? That's interesting. But again, guys, I did feel nauseous before and it's, it wasn't something like, okay, it's a sign, it's a signal. No, I just felt nauseous for a bit and it was not a normal feeling to me, but it was okay. Okay. Okay, I was nervous. I was very nervous. Like nothing usually i'm very calm and nothing can drive me crazy but that day i was like i hate this uh, why why they do this like i wasn't happy at all and i remember that my daughter had a class and i was waiting for her in the car and usually they have a big parking lot but Unfortunately, they, they had no available spaces closer to her, to her class and I parked pretty far and I don't like it, but I was okay. When it happened, I was totally fine, but that time around, believe it or not, I was ready to cry. I was ready to start crying and it was so heartbreaking to me. It was like... I didn't know how to control my emotions. I was so mad, so angry that there is no available space closer to her class. And I was like, what is going on with me? I am not like this. Like those are hormones, like calm down, slow down. You know, this is not me. This is not me, typical me, okay? Whew, it was something like new, okay? A bit. Okay, I felt dizzy. In the afternoon, uh, we went to eat something with my in-laws and I felt dizzy and I felt tired and I felt exhausted, but there is no reason to feel, to, to be exhausted because I had a normal day, nothing, like nothing was wrong, like nothing, but I felt like, <clears throat> I'm tired, I'm exhausted, and I'm dizzy. Also, I forgot to mention that at cycle day 8, I took a nap somewhere uh, like between 11ish and 1. It's not typical to me, I usually don't take, don't take a nap in the afternoon because I'm busy, I don't have enough time to do that. But I was literally exhausted. I woke up in the morning and in a few hours I was already exhausted. And it was like, okay, okay, like, you got it, you got this. You want to take a nap? Go take a nap. Which I did. And also when I was driving that day, it was about 3 p.m. 
I felt uh, a strange sensation in the middle of my uterus, like very mild cramps, not painful at all, and it felt like um, like someone was touching my uterus from the inside, and hopefully it was implantation. I did fail implantation, but you never know. But it was something to think about. It got me thinking that maybe I'm experiencing implantation right now, Im implantation cramps. But I had no blood on my um, underwear, like nothing. I have never had any blood drops, which is uh, associating with implantation. So it was totally fine for me just having an implantation without any blood on my underwear. So this time around, I I did feel it for about like 10-ish minutes, but it was soft. It was just like a touchy feeling in my uterus and it was interesting and I forgot about it really quick because it was no pain nothing at all and yeah this was 8 dpo okay 9 dpo let's move on i was hungry um i i wrote down that i just ate breakfast and in a few hours I was already hungry, like starving and I had a feeling that I got sick, I woke up in the morning like what is this, what is with my nose, like it's not like this usually and I was like my throat hurts, like what's going on, yesterday I was fine and I'm like okay so maybe this is implantation, maybe that's why I'm feeling it but you never know, it's a flu season right now, it's still winter, but you never know. And I have three little ones who are not um, really feeling well right now. Some of them have like snouts, like um, throat, th throat right now. So I'm like, okay, it could be a sign, it could be not. But it did happen to me, definitely, I felt. Uh, kind of sick a bit at 90 p.m. Okay, and I was sneezing. I was sneezing. Okay, and I started pink uh, at night. Usually I don't do this. Uh, I do not do the bathroom at night, but that time around, which is at 90 p.m., I went to the bathroom in the middle of the night which was mm, something new to me. I'm like, okay, okay, it could be something. And no more symptoms. 9DPO was um, very smooth, not a lot of symptoms. I just wrote down that I was a bit hungry. I had some um, nerves, you know, here and there. And I was sneezing and kind of not feeling well, like I'm getting sick and I went to pee a lot at night. No more symptoms, no more symptoms guys. And finally today at 10 dpm, I'm filming it at 9.15 pm. Okay, so um, I was nervous all day everything was driving me crazy but it's not me like typically i'm very calm and it was like mm, it could be my period coming or it could be anything whatever i had a pulling sensation in my uterus and ovaries on and off okay and yes from 3 p.m i studied within the bathroom because I had um, mild diarrhea, if it's okay to say sorry for TMI, I, I felt like I went to the bathroom to do the second thing 
every like 40-ish minutes and I started feeling gassy. I'm still kind of the same way. I still use the bathroom to do the second thing. I usually, believe me guys, I do it once per day, but I've done this for about six times since three, it's, it's 9 p.m. So, mm, what could it be? I can tell you guys that usually I have soft stool before period, two or three days before, and I feel dizzy, I feel nauseous before period, I feel nervous, I feel like not in a mood, which I, I'm experiencing right now, and it's all common and it's all normal, and uh, yes, it, it could be anything, it could be pregnancy related symptoms, it could be anything, like period, my period is coming, so fingers crossed and I'm just very hopeful, I pray God that it's gonna happen, um, I'm gonna start testing tomorrow, I don't know how it's gonna be, I didn't do it uh, earlier because with um, two of my kids, with baby number two and baby number three, I caught my positives at 10 DPO, with baby number one I just didn't test. So, uh, I'm nervous, I don't know what to expect, I don't know how it's gonna be, but I know one thing that I don't want to see my periods. No, no, thank you. I'm just, I'm not ready to have my period again. I'm done, you know. I really want a baby. I really want a baby in my arms. And if you're trying to conceive right now, I'm with you guys. I'm with you guys. And I'm wishing you luck, baby test. Uh, I know how hard it can be. This is my six months of trying to conceive and it feels like I have a lot of weight on my shoulders. I'm with you guys and honestly, I'm with you. I'm supporting you and good luck. Good luck. It's a very good journey. Um, I wish you guys enjoy it, but it's hard to enjoy. Honestly, it is hard. Okay, so those are my symptoms from 6 days past ovulation till 10 days past ovulation. Tomorrow I'm going to start testing and we'll see guys. I'm very excited and hopeful and you know, so many emotions right now, like bittersweet emotions because it is, you, you want to start testing but at the same time you're kind of afraid of the results because they can affect you, so, 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 wish me luck, if you like this video, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and I will highly appreciate it, guys, have a good one.